morning y'all so we had a really late night last night um we finally pulled in got everything settled it was definitely after one um so we've gotten up this morning the kids are eating cereal out of a cup we are on our way to port Huron, but before we pulled at, before we pull out we had to stop colby is dumping our tank and filling us back up with water so we made it to the campground and um basically just spent the night and got up early this morning and got dressed um kind of got everything cleaned up and we're now eating and we're gonna get back on the road and drive north for about two and a half more hours to go see um in my gardener store we're gonna go up to lake um huron and there's some museums and stuff in the area that we're interested in going in so we're gonna get up this morning and go do all of that um, we're going to be taking some video footage and photos along the way. Then we'll be making our way back home this afternoon. Have you told him? Well, luckily, I came to fill up the water and dump our sewage because the way, or black water, gray water, sorry. Um, the way this campground works, it doesn't have that. So we came to one spot and realized we got a tire down the ground. So I'm filling it up right now. Just gotta find some fix a flat or something. And then I'm gonna take it somewhere and let them look at it and see what's causing it. But I am getting it up. I bought this this little uh compressor rig. I was like, I don't think I'll need it. I, I might as well buy it. I'm glad it did now. for Coley but it's been a little stressful for me too um but anyway so we finally made it we're almost to um in my gardener store and we're gonna let the kids go in and pick out some seeds to plant and um uh, we're gonna kind of explore downtown today this is a beautiful area we've been very impressed Anything else you want to add right now? No, it's pretty little town. We're going. There's a few little places to eat, so we're going. I think we're going to try to get Port Huron today, and then we'll head back towards um, Sun, Sunset Beach. Yeah, they be. Oh, we're in Michigan. Yeah. Canada's right there. Canada's right there. Cool. All right, we got one more street to cross over. Yeah, let me get in front of y'all too.
relaxing and relaxing. Look at that. Wave girls. Very pretty downtown. We've been super excited about this. Lots of things to do, so we're going to kind of just go explore today. did we buy? A lot. A lot? Nine. So mommy got to go to the M.I. Gardner store which is what she wanted to do. Any words mommy? We picked out some seeds. Um, the town is really nice so that's what we really like. Um, this part. So we got some explore. We had a good time. You can see way back there in the purple shirt. Uh, Luke I think is back there. We missed him but We've had a good time in the store and spent way too much money, huh? All right, and we just got two things on the menu that we have never ever heard of. Poutine fries. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> We're from Mississippi, I'm sorry y'all. And Saganaki. I don't even know what did somebody say Opa even mean. So. Are you going to try them both? What about you? Can you believe we're like super close to Canada? That's still All right, we have spent the whole day in Port Huron. Port, pork, pork's on my mind, is that bad? Port Huron with the fam. We're walking through this pretty water. I guess because we've never been to this part of the world, we didn't know what to expect with water. We think of water, we think of like brown lakes or uh, even clear water, but not blue. This water reminds me of almost like Destin. It's just, it's actually clear blue, so it's beautiful, so. We'll look at it right quick, and then we're gonna get back and ride on back. It's absolutely gorgeous. The camera's probably not doing it justice. It really is that blue. Hmm. We're at Lake Huron. Um, the water is absolutely beautiful. Canada is just right over there. So that's super cool to be so close to Canada. And um, the breeze, it's hot here. Actually, it's hot. But um, the breeze feels amazing. Uh, and you can see that the wind is cutting up from just looking at the water. And we just can't get over how beautiful the water is. Uh, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I know this doesn't do it justice, but it really is absolutely gorgeous. What do y'all think, girls? Awesome. Awesome. No closer. I guess that's where you cross into Canada, right there. <laughs> that's right. There's the, the U.S. Customs and Border Agent area right there. Big sheet. What do you think about it, JJ? <laughs> absolutely beautiful, isn't it? All right, guys. You all ready to go, go back to the campground? Yeah. No, not ready. I think those uh, gravy fries are are making me get a little sleepy. Water. Water. All right. Well, we're fixing to head back. Camper, you see the camper? Can you see the camper? It's all the way down. 
Bam! Right there, there she rode. <laughs> Putting her mark on the Great Lakes, isn't that right? That's right. We have just made it back from uh, Lake Huron, and uh, we we were going back to the, the, uh, the campground, but uh, Mike, Mike and Jenny called us, and we're going to go visit with them at their house for a little bit. So. I'm excited to see what the Pratt family homestead's got going on. And uh, so we're trying to start down some food in the RV before we go into the, the campsite and go visit with them for a little bit and hang out. We've got one back there sleeping, <laughs> one squealing that's not very happy. I think two sleeping. Two sleeping, excuse me. Two babies sitting and one squealing. It's been a long day, but a good day. We're ready to just, we're going to visit with some friends and to go wind down and settle down for tonight. We're looking forward to not being on the road tomorrow. I think Colby's had enough driving. I'm ready to get up and drink a cup of coffee, cook breakfast outside at this campground, and just relax. So, but we've had a good day. Yes, we have. So, we'll have a good night too. Happy home